Hello friends, today we will discuss about the velocity measurement in open channel or stream using the direct method and indirect method. Let us see indirect method in the stream velocity. Stream velocity is nothing but the speed of water flowing in a river or stream. The water measurement can be done with two methods. One is the rest condition and another is the motion condition. So rest condition means the water is in rest or in a stable condition like in your pond, reservoir or lake. Here we will measure the only the volume of water when you know the area and depth of that particular body. So that simply you are, suppose this is your uh, pond or any rectangle water storage unit. So we will find the depth and area and what is the volume of water so we will get the volume is equals to depth into height so we will get the your volume now suppose my field is in rectangular square so I will find the simple area into depth of the water so that is depth of water means in this rest condition of the water may be used more in the your irrigation fields Okay, for measuring the amount of water flowing through the field or particular chart, that is simply defined as unit of hectare, centimeter or hectare, meter, okay, hectare, centimeter, hectare, meter, or simply your liters or meter cube. Where, where you are dealing with large amount of water in a storage, uh, in rest condition, in, like your reservoir, we will use the units of TMC. TMC means the thousand million cubic feet, okay. The, the conversion of the TMC will ask for the most uh, examination like one TMC how many meters cube, one TMC how many liters cube, please concentrate on it. Okay, let us see motion condition means the amount of water flowing particularly uh, from one point to another point. In here, the, suppose this is a river flowing a water from the point one and point two. So, the amount of water moving from the section 1 to 2 with respect time, here the motion with respect time is most important. That's why we call the water in motion condition. The units of this one is your liter per second or meter cube per second. Okay? This is nothing but your volume of water flowing from one section to another section or one point to another point in river. So, let us, in this, I want to measure the volume of water in the stream how much amount of water flowing from one point to another point for that i need that's q equals to area into velocity this is the volume of water flowing uh, from one unit to another unit or one point to another point for this i need area and i need velocity okay, for this i for the area measurement suppose my boy area is rectangular or square or circular it is not difficult to measure the such bodies where in practical condition in open channel the field is neither rectangular nor in square nor in circular in this condition the fields are in irregular motion i am showing a figure here irregular line here in irregular motion in this condition it is very difficult to measure the particular uh, area of your particular body so in this condition the entire cross section area may be divided into small segments look like here i am showing the figure Okay, this is called your simply area velocity method where you want to find the velocity in separate and area in separate manner. That's why you are, this is called your area velocity method where you are finding the area first and at the same time you are finding the velocity at that particular point and sum of this entire area and average velocity you will give the average velocity or average volume of water flowing to particular uh, stream that's why it's called your area velocity method so let us see in the, let us see the stream this is the your stream and this is your uh, bottom cross section area or simply called your bed so now this entire bed uh, is dividing into number of small segments okay with w width from here w1 width and this depth y1 and width w2 depth y2 like similarly this is your width i and depth i and here width n and depth y n minus 1 okay n minus 1 now see i want to find the area 
of this particular highlighted cross section. Okay, see here, this is the depth yi. At this section, when I will use the any instrument, flowing instrument for measuring the velocity, in this condition, left portion of the uh, wi also be contribute for velocity and right side, that is w i plus 1 also be contributed. That's why we will take the half of the right side, of width of your right side, half the width of your left side. Okay? This will give average width and multiply with your entire depth. So this will give your area. So for area measurement of this particular point, highlighted point, simply the area equals Okay, now this is the wi, this is your wi, wi and this is your wi plus 1. Now, I want to measure the area, okay, for this crossed points. Now, this is the width 1 i by 2 by, this I need only half of portion, wi i plus 1 by 2. This will give you a width, average width and multiplying the depth. Depth means nothing but your y i. So, width into depth. That nothing but your area. So, when you get the area, simple by using the discharge formula, you will measure the volume. Area into velocity. This is one method. I Another method for the measuring the width. Now, what I am doing here, see, very simple method for measuring the width of the uh, small segment area is simple. Now, using surveying method, the first initial point we want to identify in the particular stream. From this, where you want to measure the depth, that also be first to be noted. And from the initial point, the distance, distance be noted. That's called your d1 and here depth is y1. Similarly, from the initial point, depth is d2, that is your depth is y2 and distance is d2. And from third, similarly, distance is d3 and depth is d3. Likewise, now find, suppose now, likewise, depth is yn and distance is your d n and your depth is here y n. Here suppose this is the depth is your uh, y n minus 1 and distance is d n minus 1. Okay. Now I want to measure the particular highlighted cross section. Let us see. Now I am taking, I want to measure the width of the section. Similarly, width of the section. This locate between the, see here, this is locate between the d See, this is the D5, D5 and D3. This is the D3. This entire area or width is locating between your D5. See, D5 and this is your D3. Now, I am, I, I want to measure the area in between this section. So that's why I don't need entire section, entire cross section. In this condition, I will need only half of the portion of your D4. Half of the portion of the D4. I want to measure the D4, that's why it will be it will locate between D5 and D3. And D3, D5 half and D3 also be half. In this condition, the area equals to D5 minus D3 by 2 into what is the depth? It is y4. That is your area. So now, similar, similarly, by using the volume formula, that is judicial formula, q is equal to area into velocity. So when you get the area, you using the current meter or any other technique, you will find the velocity. So that will give the your volume of water flowing with respect to time. Similarly, one other example. Let us see another example. Let I want to find that initial point. Simply, this also be simply. I this is a between your D two and D one. That 
that is your area at 1 equals to d2 minus d1 by 2 into depth of at point that is your y1 this is simply your area at initial point the, uh, for taking the more accurate uh, results of your area as well as velocity we enter stream should be divided into small means number of the segments small segments will be divided mean uh, it will give the more accuracy as well as the entire cross section area should not be vary for a small time the depth nowadays the for measuring the depth echo depth recorder echo depth recorders are using Okay, this will give you more accuracy as well as in high flow stream means very with high flow stream or high velocity stream this type of depth echo, uh, echo depth recorder are using. Thank you.